Hello everyone, Mr. Yard here. I hope you are all doing well and um, I'm really excited to hopefully be seeing lots of you in the classroom in about a week's time. That's really exciting. I want to share with you guys um, the probability experiment that I would like you to do. Okay, so um, in this video I'm going to first kind of talk about what the idea of the experiment is. I'm going to walk you through a different example and at the end of the video, I'm going to explain the probability experiment that I would like you guys to put together on your own. Okay? So I've kind of broken it down into four different sections. So when I say probability experiment, I'm talking about the probability of something happening. And then we're going to see that happen. We're going to see those events happen. And we're going to compare the prediction we make from thinking about what the probability is. Um, to what actually happens. We're going to be looking at the results of our experiment, okay? So the four um, things I've broken it down to in our probability experiment, the first thing is to be making a prediction, what you think will happen. The second thing is going to be to do your experiment and record the results. Uh, the third thing is going to be to graph the results. You guys are going to make bar graphs to show the data that you collect from your experiment. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to compare the results of your experiment to what your prediction was. So if your prediction was close, if it was really far apart, I want you to, to be reflecting on that a little bit. Okay, so I am now going to show you um, an example of an experiment that I will do record the results, and then compare it to my bridge. For my probability experiment, the experiment I am going to do is I'm going to roll a die 10 times and see what the results are. Okay? So um, before I do my experiment, I'm going to make my prediction. I'm going to predict what I think is going to happen. So um, from what I know about probability, I know that a die has six numbers. And I think that the probability of rolling each number is equal. I think there is an equal chance that I will roll um, each number. I don't think I'm going to get all sixes. I don't think I'm going to get all twos. I think I'm going to get kind of an equal number. Um, and I also added that I think I will roll each number at least once. So I think I'm because the probability of rolling each number is the same, is equal, I think that... Um, I will get each number at least one time. So I'm going to do the experiment and see what happens. Okay, so I did my experiment and these are my results. So um, at the top you can see the number and then my tallies are showing um, how many I, times I got each number. So for the, I got two ones, I didn't get any twos, I got one three, three fours, two fives, and two sixes after rolling the die ten times. Okay, So I made a graph about that. That's what this looks like here. So you can see I've got two ones, zero twos, one three, three fours, and then two fives and two sixes. Notice I've put all of my titles in there, the number of times I rolled, um, the number on the die, and this is my title, ten rolls of the die. So I've done my experiment. I can now look back at my prediction and compare my prediction to my results. So what did I find out? So I had said that the probability of rolling each number was equal, right? Because I thought that, you know, the, the die has six numbers and I should get an e equal results. Um, but I didn't get equal numbers for all of the rolls, right? If we look back, um, I got some equal, right, for one, for five, and for six, I, I rolled each of those twice, two times, um, but for the other numbers, they're different, okay? And um, for the other part of my prediction where I said I thought I would roll at, uh, each number at least one time, I was wrong, right? I didn't roll any twos, but I was close. Okay, so for your probability experiment, I would like you to do a coin toss, so I would like you to flip a coin 10 times and see what the results are. But before you do that, very importantly, is I want you to make your predictions. Before you flip your coin, I want you to think about what is the probability of getting heads or tails? What do you think will happen? If you flip a coin 10 times, are you going to get heads every time? Are you going to get tails every time? 
Are you going to get more of one and less than, a, than another? Can you talk about the probability as a fraction? Can you wor use words like likely or unlikely or certainly? Okay, I want you to kind of make a prediction, see what you think will happen. Okay? When you've made your prediction, then I would like you to do the experiments. The experiment in this case is flipping a coin 10 times. And every time you flip the coin, when you see, for example, I get heads, okay, I'm gonna write really quickly, I'm gonna make a tally, heads, flip again, tails, I'm gonna be recording each time I flip it, so I have my data collected. I'm gonna do that 10 times. Not less than 10, not more than 10, we're all gonna do 10 times, okay? When you have that data collected, I would like you to make a bar graph with that information, with that data. Vertical, horizontal, you guys made some great bar graphs and I did make some comments on things you should do next time. So for this time, make sure you look at the comments I, I gave you and um, be making a, a bar graph, okay? So the bar graph. Uh, when you finish your graph, the last thing I would like you to do is just like in my example, I would like you to please compare your results to your predictions, okay? Um, what was the same, what was different, what surprised you, maybe just a, a, a couple of sentences on that, okay? Really looking forward to see your guys' work. Um, this is a really fun experiment, so I, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, upload all your work to Teams, please, and I will be seeing you soon. Bye.